Good morning, welcome back to another one. It's December 30th. I'm heading back into a property that I actually shot a doe in earlier this year, and then my where my brother ended up shooting his first archery buck as well. But it's the holiday hunt here in Wisconsin. There's only a couple counties in the state that participate in it, and it's doe only. Luckily, the county that I'm going to, I can still shoot a buck in. I do still have my buck tag, and I got a doe tag for that county as well, so I'm kind of up in the air on what I'm gonna shoot. But hopefully I can run into something and be able to get an arrow in something. It's pretty cold this morning. Woke up, it was 25 degrees. It's been in the 40s the last couple days and raining, so hopefully this little cold snap that we got coming through is gonna be able to get some deer up and moving, and with any luck, I'll be able to see something and be able to get a good shot on something. Well, it's officially the last day of December, and it's not looking too promising for me. I was out yesterday, kicked up a deer walking in, thought I heard something moving through. Both of them never laid eyes on. Fortunately, that's just how it went yesterday. So today, my plan was to just pound some public land, put some boots on the ground, and just try to figure out what these deer are doing. The weather late season here has been extremely warm for this time of year. So everything I learned last year about a couple of these properties, I feel like is just completely different. Water's not froze over, marshes are still open. Some of the food sources has switched, just crop rotation. So that affects it as well. I haven't been doing too hot. So my biggest goal with today is just hike around and see what I can find out for some fresh sign, go into some areas that I haven't been in. And I drove around this morning just scouting hunting pressure, just seeing how many people are out pheasant hunting, walking around, bow hunting. I only have until January 7th with this county and then archery closes and then a bunch of the surrounding counties do extended archery, which is all the way to the 31st. I got a doe tag for this county as well, so I'm trying to punch that tag if I can. So we're gonna get it in there too.
something bumped them. I don't know. But they came running. And then finally I got on them with the camera. And they came running right down one of the trails I wanted them to. But they were moving pretty quick. And I tried to get her to stop. The back one was a lot younger. And I could have shot that one. But I don't want to shoot a fawn. That's hunting though. I still got 45 minutes left, so I'm gonna see what happens, but yeah, I tried to stop them and they just took off like a bat out of hell. Oh well. That was quick. I don't know what they were running from, but I don't know if someone's back there pheasant hunting, coyotes chasing them. I got no idea, but. First day of the year, new spot. Came in here yesterday to see what was around and set up on some fresh sign. When you know, two deer came running through, just how I wanted it to. But maybe that just means there's a big buck coming. And I just, and I wasn't supposed to shoot that. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> This video unfortunately wasn't able to capitalize on shooting one of those stones yesterday I think I could have shot her walking I do think she was gonna slow down but like I said they came running in so I was all fired up ready to go and I had to swing my camera arm over get my bow turn completely to the side to shoot which I was comfortable shooting that direction but because it happened so fast I ended up dope bleeding way louder than I wanted to and I don't know if she would have ran, even if I did it quiet. I don't know, hindsight's 2020, but you just live and you learn and you just keep going. With that being said, I was shooting my bull a little bit because I'm actually going to hunt and film with my buddy Chris from Buck Street Whitetails. He's got some urban properties that he's trying to do a little bit of managing on. I got a bunch of doe tags for this county. He's got some doe tags for this county and we both have our buck tags as well. I'll be in a saddle sitting behind the tree. He's gonna be in a stand in front of him. I'm mainly gonna be filming, but if he shoots something and then something walks on by and I can get a shot, we're gonna switch cameraman to Archer and hopefully we can fill some tags tonight though. But if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. Helps us out a lot. Hopefully you guys have been having some good luck this season. We'll catch you guys on the next one.